Good morning guys and happy Sunday. It is 36 minutes past four. Um, I've been up for about 15 minutes. I've literally washed my face, put my moisturizer on, brushed my teeth. Uh, John's in the shower. John's been up a lot longer than me. Neither of us have slept that well. A um, little bit of excitement, a little bit because the heating in this room is weird gone from one night, one point in the night, neither of us could sleep because we couldn't breathe because it was so hot and being freezing cold. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know, it's the summer and I suppose they've got aircon on for whatever reason, but we are in the UK and it's not required. Uh, but yeah, we are just going to get up and go and find ourselves some breakfast because that's a good thing, this hotel apparently does breakfast from 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. Um, so yeah. Let's kind of sort this out. I need coffee. I need a lot of coffee. Hey guys, in the lift, off to find some breakfast. And it's breakfast time and I have got toast with butter and strawberry jam and a banana and some water and some coffee. John's just had a bowl of watermelon. He's also got apple juice and I think he's gone to get himself some toast. Hey guys, so we're at the airport. Coffee. He's not impressed with his coffee. It's all right. It's not great. Right. Funky. Funky, not even mine. Yeah, I'm tired, so this coffee is definitely needed. We're on the plane. John's having the window seat because I'm going to fall asleep. airport to ever get through. Anyone ever had it in there? I said, it's Gdansk. <sighs> very tired. Very, very tired. Yo, after a 20 minute train journey and a 5-10 minute walk, we're at our hotel. We checked in early. Um, we've been here for so about half an hour and 45 minutes. It's now half past one Polish time, half past 12 UK time. And uh, yeah, let's give you a room tour. Okay, bed. Bedroom. Cool big shower again. Doing good with these showers. Me. Mirror. Toilet. Room tour done. So we just had a little walk. Uh, we're at the famous crane, which is up there. Look at this bad boy though. How epic is that? Personally, I think it's too cold to go on the river. what he's about. He's the second little man I've found. I uh, think they're blooming cute though. I think they might be trolls or gnomes or something, I don't know. But aren't they cute? Okay, so we have walked about a million steps and went up a little alleyway and there's all these marketplaces selling amber and it was epic. This is a different angle of the crane that I tried to show you earlier. Uh, I'm just going to show you again. Famous crane, and then we've walked all the way over, all the way around. Yeah, it's absolutely giant. That's John B. Trying to find the perfect Instagram picture. Hey guys, so we've just been on that train. You know, I'm a lucky girl. Not only do I get to go on an aeroplane today, but I've been on two trains. John knows how to spoil me. 
We're on the hunt for Vedel. If you've watched our crack off vlog, you will know how I feel about Vedel. So that is what we're on the hunt for. Um, they sold the chocolate in the airport. We want the proper Vedel like restaurant cafe thing. So that is what we're doing. This, my friends, is chocolate pierogi. It's filled with cheesecake. Oh, yes. Trio of desserts. Don't know what they are yet. Oh, we'll try them. We just had a bed all, and then we went to a place called Rossman and bought some makeup. And then we went to a supermarket and bought some Jaffa cakes. And we're just walking past the shop and look at the unicorn cake. Jess, if you're watching this, this is for you. Unicorn cake. We're both very tired. Can you see the boot? Mm. Yeah. Back on the train, going back to. Men's train station. I thought he knows how to say it, he just wouldn't say it. Good ass glowing. That's where we're going. Um, my whole lower body is kind of pulsating, throbbing, because it's like, I'm not used to walking this much. But yeah. Um, normally lucky if I do 300 steps on a Sunday. Uh, We've got 14 hours nearly. It's not even 6 o'clock, it's 5, 5, quarter 5 in England. So you've been up? You've got up at like 4, four o'clock. And now it's quarter past 5 in the UK. Quarter 2, quarter 2, 5. Okay. We're talking absolute babble. Uh, we're going back to the hotel now. Hey guys, so back in the hotel room, I probably can hear John is in the shower. Pooped. But we're going to power through. So tempting to have a nap, but then I won't sleep tonight and then. Mm. So yeah, we're going to power through. We did have a coffee in the bar downstairs at the hotel because there are no coffees making facilities in the room. I think there's only English hotels that do that. I don't think the rest of the world makes tea and coffee in the, in the room. Uh, spoke to a Polish guy who lived in Scotland who was drunk and uh, upset about Brexit and there's me and John there trying to enjoy our coffee and it's like, um, we voted Romaine. We really like Poland, hence why this is John's second trip to Poland this year and our, you know. But he just, I don't know if it was a language barrel or the fact that he was drunk or he just didn't want to hear what we said, but yeah. He was upset about Brexit. And it didn't matter how many times John said, yeah, we're upset about Brexit too. It didn't really matter. But anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get changed and we're going to go out for dinner. It's a bit odd that we had, I've already had like giant desserts midway through the afternoon, but technically we didn't have lunch today, so. And uh, there isn't a Vedel without getting on the train where we're staying, so. Whilst in the vicinity of Vedel, you eat Vedel. It's how it is. Right, going to get dressed. So, we are changed. We're off to find a pierogi restaurant. Granted, I've already had chocolate pierogi today, but we're now going to go and find some um, savoury pierogies, aren't we, Mr. Beach? Yeah. The restaurant that we wanted to go to, that's like famous pierogi restaurant, uh, is Ram Jam Full, and you are not allowed. They don't take reservations on a Sunday. They're also only open till nine o'clock, so not guaranteed to get a table between now and then. So we're on the hunt for something else. Because Katie, meaning me, I'm starving. Like, I know I ate bed all a couple of hours ago, but I need some food. And it's tea time and we're in Poland. We're eating American food. We've got steak and corn and onion rings and chips and a salad. And John's got the same. Obviously, I've not taken my makeup off, 
but I've got the jam jams on. Uh, yeah, so we went out looking for pierogi, um, or Polish food in general, but there's this like amazing pierogi uh, restaurant that's not that far from our hotel. However, on a Sunday you can't reserve. I think I may have already told you this. You can't reserve a table on a Sunday, so you just have to kind of take your luck, and it was rammed. So we walked around for a bit and ended up going to an American restaurant. <laughs> Uh, really good steak, like really good steak. Um, and then on the way back, we walked past uh, this beautiful church that had the most magical Dis Disney esque kind of chimes going on. Hopefully, John thinks he caught it on his camera. I had my arms full, so I couldn't record it. Um, so, hopefully, you'd have seen that. And yeah, we are back in the room. Pooped, pooped, pooped. It's been a long old day. Tomorrow there will be very much so less walking involved. I'm still doing stuff, but less walking involved. So yeah, just gonna use some of the Wi-Fi and uh, unwind, drink some water. That's necessary. <laughs> 